down. Excellent shooting. Mm-hmm. So Joyce, do you think you can tell us about your reed buck today? Was yeah. there a lot of cover? Uh, there was a spindly tree and we kind of crept up behind that and there was a few little bushes between us and the reed buck. Um, the reed buck was oh, 254 yards away. 254 yards. Yeah. How do you know that? Andrew ranged him at the nine years. And so he, he told me where to place the shot. bullet found in the animal? Uh, that would be a negative. I have yet to recover a bullet out of any animal I've shot. They've all gone through and through. And you had an entrance and exit. Anatomically placed overlying. What vital organ do you think? Oh, the lungs, the shoulders, the heart. Ah. So how long was that again? I don't think I heard that correctly. 250 and were you lying prone? No, I was standing on sticks and leaning against a tree. My shoulder was against a tree for steadiness, to steady me. Would that happen to be the longest shot of the safari? That certainly would be the longest shot of the safari. I guess Jim had the long shot with the Sitatonga, but this is more than Jim shot by about, oh, 54 yards. I think this interview is over now. I think that all of my shots have been pretty long shots, close to the 200 plus range, except for the cuckoo. <laughs> which was a ghetto drive-by. Like, which was a ghetto drive-by. Long, the long uh, stalk of five yards, protracted stalk of five yards. Yeah, you've had a pretty good go-round. It's been a very, very, very good safari.